Hi, I'm Sandy Genovese, and today we are combining penguins to make a very cool card. Here you can see the finished one, and it's the style of card that's called a gate folded card because the two ends of the card fold together in the middle and it opens like a gate, and the handles are the penguin shapes so that you open it like this. And I've purposely created this in a size that will accommodate a four by six photo inside. So this is something that is, if you want to make a card for lots of people, I purposely have kept the embellishments to a minimum so that if you're having to do 50 or 100, it's not something that will be too labor intensive for you to create and then to assemble. So what you do want to do is you want to start with the paper itself. And I use this red cardstock. The dimensions are six by nine. And you want a gate folded card for the two ends to meet in the middle. So if I thought I would set a ruler out here so you could see, since this is nine inches, if you lay this down so that it's lined up with your ruler at nine inches, if you bring this end in so that it just touches the four and a half inch mark. So if you see here, I'm gonna fold it over. Here's the four and a half inch mark. If this goes to that four and a half inch mark, then this side, I'm gonna move the ruler out of the way so you can see, this side needs to just touch, just lightly meet where those two come together. Those will give you, that's an easy way to get this card so that you have a nice fold right in the middle. And on the off chance that you're not putting, you can start by folding your card in half, but, and if you put a photo in here, it would never show the fold line. But if you end up putting a message where you just hand write something in here, a family letter or something like that, you might not want the fold line. So you can do the way that I just showed you and that way you don't have a fold in the middle. This gives you the gate construction. Then you wanna look at the handles. Now you have really lots of choices, Christmas themes. Look at the table, I've got a snowman, I've got an angel. We're gonna do penguins today. They do not have to be symmetrical. While you have the two shapes together is when you wanna fold them in half. So here I have two of the penguins. You can see it's not symmetrical, but I'm going to fold them you know, it doesn't have to be down the middle, but fold them somewhere. I want to fold it so that I'm not folding right in the middle of the, the beak or the eyes. So I folded it and I wanna clear the two legs. So I'm not folding in the middle of one of these legs either. So I folded them both in half. Once you have that fold line, now I'm gonna open it up and I'm gonna go ahead and embellish each one of them. So, and I'm gonna embellish them this exact same way. So we'll do one and then you just repeat the same process with the second one. So let me take, first of all, and I've gone ahead and I've used the same penguin shape to just cut out of black this top portion. So I'm gonna set it, put adhesive on and then set it right on top. And you really need solid adhesive because this is gonna get folded. And at this moment, I'm not sure exactly where the fold's gonna be. So I wanna make sure that when I fold it, it doesn't wanna come loose. So. Let me use my tweezers so my hands are sort of out of the way. Flatten this back out so that I can align this back over the top and get and I can see that I did a little bit of a bad job. If you have spots that are not coming out the black that you want. You can take a pen and I'm gonna take this, I'll take this pen here. You can go back because it's black and I can fill in any places where I see a little bit of white. I mean, it would solve it if I just made sure that when I did this the first time, I cut the black so that it perfectly matched over the, the white. But if you have any little places where the white is peeking out, just add black. Once you have that, then it's time to color. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll color his feet. So I'm just gonna use a marker that is sort of a goldish, yellowy, orange color in order to replicate the look of the penguin feet. And I have to say, I honestly don't know for sure, but usually I go online and I just, I look at photographs of the real thing and I use that as my model. Then I want two little eyes. So I'm gonna use my white pen to add 
little eyes. And then I thought it was really cute to add a beak. So I've taken a piece of gold. I've already put adhesive on the back and I'm going to take the scissors and I'll just cut out a little triangle shape that will be perfect to be one little beak on this guy. If you look at, if you have a die cut alphabet and you have the letter A, it's small enough you might have, you might already have a triangle that will work. Let me position this like so. So the other thing that I did was I added a little um, decoration. If I, I'll bring this back up and you can see what I mean. You can see I added, this just happens to be a punch. But notice, instead of decorating each half, I have this sitting over the top. So I'm only going to do one and I'm going to do it at the end. Right now what I need to do, I've decorated one. Oh gosh, look at I left out the eyeballs off of this guy. <laughs> I think it's cuter, even on the inside, to have the two little eyes there. So I've decorated one of the penguins. Now I'm going to stop, and I'm just going to repeat the same process by decorating the second guy. So once you've repeated the process so that you have two little penguins decorated, then it's a question of going back and refolding. So remember I started off by folding them before they were embellished. I'm going to, I've got the fold lines already there. I'm going to refold because now I want to fold back through those that black layer that I added. So let me refold each one of these. And I'm just going to, I can see that when I had the white pin putting the eyeballs on, I got a little bit of white on that black. Now it's a question of adding the handles to the gate card itself. So they are going to get attached like so. So let me go ahead and I'm going to put adhesive on the inside of this one. And I'll go ahead and position this. I want to position it so I have room at the top to put the banner. So I'm going to press down because it, it, there's no adhesive here. The adhesive is all on this inside section. And then I'm going to go ahead and this time I'm going to put my adhesive on, you can see like so, I'm, this time I want the adhesive on this side. And in this case, to make sure that it lines up, I'm going to position them together. And then when I can see that I have a nice alignment, then I'll go ahead and I'll push down and once again make sure that I have this pushed. Now that I can see this sitting on another color, you can see that I have some of that white is still showing. I really did a bad job of cutting the black out, but it can always be saved. Almost never do you have to start over. There's almost always a way to fix it. So in order to get that black, at this point when you have this fully decorated and embellished, I want to add the details that only go on one side. So it doesn't really matter which side. I'm going to go ahead and I would write my message. I won't stop to write it now, but you would write I put my message, have a cool Yule. Remember, I'm only putting adhesive on half because I'm only going to attach this to one side of the gate. So upside down, I can't tell very well if I have things straight and even. But basically, you want this in this position. And then you want to take, this is just a Tim Holtz punch. And I've cut it out of some scrapbook thicker cardstock paper. <laughs> and here it is. I would put adhesive on the back and only on one half, again, because this was so fragile, I didn't really want to bend this and have to fold it in half. So because it's so delicate, I just have adhesive on one half 
when the card is closed, I'm going to position it so it looks like he has a little wreath that he's wearing, almost like a, a, a leaf necklace to create that image. And then inside you have a nice area that's perfect for a 4x6 photo. The envelope that fits this is 4 and 3 fourths by 6 and a fourth will, will work perfectly for this. In fact, this one has been folded more times, so it's going to stay closed a little better. You can see how perfectly this is going to sit inside this envelope. And if you like this concept, but you want to do a different shape for Christmas, or you like the idea and you might want to use it later in the year for something else, I thought I would share with you a couple of other options. First of all, it's easy enough to do a completely different size. And this one you can see I did the other way where I folded my paper in half first and then I came and I used my fold line to see where to bring these in. But it's a completely different size to fit in, if I close this up you can see to fit in a completely different size envelope. So no matter what size your photo, you start with your photo and then build your gate card so that it fits those dimensions. Here are some different themes. These look like production made because these are um, from the one of the companies that I'm licensed with. But what I do is I create the hand version just like this and I send it to them and then they digitize it and they manufacture it. So that's why it looks, you know, printed because it is. But here is the gatefold that's done with cupcakes for a birthday card. And here is a congratulations where it says wow and then on the inside congratulations. Here is thanks a latte with little coffee cups. In this example, more of a friendship, it just says thinking of you. And then the final one is also friendship with little purses and it says you're a very special person. I know, it's corny. I am corny. I own it. <laughs> very nerdy. You know what? You can combine two folded penguins to make one super cool card. <laughs>